What's up nail friends? In today's video, I'm gonna do a really, really pretty design. I'm actually inspired by the amazing Nails by Annabelle, the owner of Glitter Bells. I saw this photo she did and I just loved it so much. Every time I saw it, I was like, I wanna do that. So I decided I wanted to do that, but in a periwinkle kind of colors. So the colors I'm gonna use today are Violet Skies, Azure Sky, and Soft White. I am double, triple dipping in soft white azure sky and violet skies and then placing it on the nail. I'm kind of washing it into just sort of like across the nail. This isn't supposed to look like anything. This is just supposed to be placed on the nail so easy. This is gonna be the easiest design. So the reason I triple dip is because you get this kind of random marble look, almost like an effortless marble look with the three colors when they kind of mix together on your brush. So it makes for a really, really simple and easy, but fun looking design. I love the stars that are in the Iridescent series Pluto. So I just pulled the stars out of this to place on the nail. So I'm just gonna add one big one in all the nails. So kind of near the top where it's not gonna get filed at all. So it's gonna be in the center, underneath the apex, and then I'm using the other small stars all over the nail. Aren't they so cute? And then I just added ever so little of that glitter because I really didn't want a lot of glitter because I was trying to recreate Annabelle's design and she didn't have any glitter in it. So here I'm just doing the next nail because I wanted to show you guys that again. So just pulling the color through, you can do any design you want. You can pat the product, you can mix them together more or less. You could use other colors too, instead where I use just blue, you could do two different colors. That would look so pretty, but I just chose for the periwinkle this time. So now I'm gonna go in with these beautiful stars. I love these stars so much, they're so pretty. And I'm sort of picking them up with the soft white just to I don't know, layer them a bit, give them a foggy look, because you don't want this to look super perfect or anything. So here is how all the nails look before we move forward. I absolutely love them, they're so pretty, but I am gonna pull some chrome through them and that's gonna look so pretty. So here is what the chrome looks like. So I'm just picking up a little bit of that chrome with some clear acrylic and then I'm just pulling it through the nail. You can put this anywhere and it is going to shine so pretty when you put your clear on top and when it's fully finished filed with top coat. It doesn't really look like much when you're doing it in the nail. It does actually look very pretty right now, but it looks so good at the end. So that's why I decided to do that. And again, you can just place this wherever you want. You can overlap the stars. You can really just do whatever you want. Okay, so now we can encapsulate this design. So I'm gonna be using my Glitter Bells uh, glass slippers and placing a bead on the tip first. When nails are this long, I like to encapsulate the tip before creating my Apex. So I'm just applying a little bit more at the very, very tip of the stiletto just because you don't want to break that and a lot of people kind of miss that spot. So I make sure to add extra there. So now I'm encapsulating these nails. I'm applying a bead near the cuticle area and bending the finger downward so that the product will not seep into the side walls on the side and it will just help the product go downward which is what we want. So now I'm just blending that into the bottom bead and now I'm applying some more acrylic where it's needed on the sides. Here's how all the nails look encapsulated. So I'm going to finish file these. You could use a e-file, but I decided to just finish file these with a hand file. So I'm gonna be using my Glitter Bells metal file boards. I'm using a 150 on one side and 180 on the other. First, I like to file my sides and try to make my point extra pointy and <laughs> sharp. And then I'm gonna file the sides and thin those out because you wanna draw the sides in while keeping the bulk in the center, which will make your nail look nice and tapered and thin. So that's what I'm just doing, filing the sides first. Trying to even them out, thin it out, and make my point really, really sharp and pointy. 
Then I'll also go around my cuticle area. I am going to file over top of where the apex is, but I'm not going to really reduce the bulk there. And I just spend quite a bit of time filing until I'm happy with the shape. So this is what they look like. I buffed them and wiped them. So I spent a lot of time sitting here staring at these thinking, should I add crystals? Because Annabelle's set did not have the crystals. And then I decided, you know what? Yes. Yes, I want crystals. So I'm going to use a gem gel type glue here to adhere these giant crystals. So I'm just placing that big, big crystal there. And then I'm putting this other kind of opal one. It's so cool. So these aren't flat back. That's why I need the gem gel. So I've got this cool light here that I use. I got this from Amazon. I showed this in my last shopping haul video. It is like like a flash curing UV light. I'll link it in my description box. It's pretty cool. So on the side here, I'm adding these square diamond shaped white opals and curing that. And that's what I do. I just build this up a little bit with some crystals and the gem glue. I only really use that for the pointy back crystals. And then I'm going to switch over to the base glue for the flat back crystal. So I'm using my glitter bells base glue. I'm just placing that down and then I'm just sticking the crystals in. And then you're just going to want to let that dry before applying top coat. So I went kind of crazy with this crystal design. I went from nothing to this. So I had a lot of fun creating this design. I just kept going. I added these triangles on the corners here. I thought that looked cute. And then I kind of matched the other nail crystals to kind of tie everything together. So now I'm going to top coat these nails. I am using my Glitter Bells No Wipe Top Coat. You can put top coat over top of your embellishments, but try not to get top coat on top of your crystals. So when I'm top coating around this big uh, crystal cluster, I'm going to use a small gel brush and get up into the sides just so I don't overlap the crystals and because it'll just ruin the shine because they're real genuine Swarovski. And then look how pretty that chrome looks when you make it shiny. I love it, how it looks so much. So since these nails are clear, I am applying top coat underneath them as well because they are glass nails. So make sure if you are doing clear nails to top coat underneath and then flip the hand in the light and cure that as well. It'll just make them look even more see-through and crystal clear. So after curing them, here is the finished design. Look at that beautiful chrome pulled through. It just gives it such a beautiful, whimsical look. I love the set so much. I had so much fun creating this. I hope Annabelle likes it. Let me know down below what you guys think. Should I have skipped the crystals? Let me know your thoughts. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. If you subscribe, click the bell next to it to be notified when I post. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.